I, I thought I was gonna get the 60 seconds to pull the meat out. Don't worry about it. And, and bring it back to the- Now you can loot all the dumbasses that got in here. They should have some good shit. Jedi Master Robe. Yeah, 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 yeah. They should have the things they thought they were- they were- So Jedi Master Robe is better than what you have on, for sure. Yeah. They- they should have the things that they thought they'd be- Oh no, I'm good. Ready yeah. with. So Dark Knight Jedi, that's two. What's the Master Robe? Three. Yeah. That's fine. a straight up Obi Wan's. That's fine. Uh, oh, you got some rubble. Check both sides. Some delicious rubble. <laughs> rubber, rubber. Violet. You can have a purple lightsaber. Do you oh! want? A, do you want a purple lightsaber, Wooly? No. Really? I really like purple. You oh, got a new. Pila. You got a new crystal. Oh, Pila. Fucking dead ass Twi'lek. Chewed. He's got a nerve amplifier. I don't remember what that is. Uh, implant. No, that's a belt, man. Now, before you touch the star map, is that rubble in the back? Is that fucking I, I'm, I'm doing my selection thing. You see it. You see me doing it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Seems like that's it. Get that sneeze out. There you oh. go. There you go. Atta big boy. Who's a big boy? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> You pr you're treating this like some kind of creepy sex thing. Your face was in that pre-sneeze state I hate for like that. 10 seconds. I, dude, it takes me forever. It was really long. My stamina on sneezing is unmatched. Now unveiling plot. You may now have one-fourth of the plot. Hey, it's kind of like the Anybody map that's going to lead us to Luke. feeling that finding this star map in the back of this crate Dragon's cave is more than just a coincidence? Observation. There is tremendous power emanating from the star map. I wonder if the crate Dragon was drawn to this cave because... Or if it was placed here because they were like, let's hide it from everybody with a big tough thing. But the big tough thing was nothing for the power of technology. Yes, Master. I am certain you are correct. Now that we have what we came for, I do hope we will be leaving this world soon. I am growing so sick of sand in my circuits. You can't feel it! Yeah, you can. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can. On that note, let's Statement. talk. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Talk to me. And I want you to call me Master, actually. Yeah. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. But you said... Are you damaged? Answer. I believe I have been damaged several times in the past, Master. I have always been repaired, but perhaps full functionality has not been restored. Uh-huh. Is there Master, any way to repair you? Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So I can. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Mm-hmm. So you're saying it'll just pop back in? Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master. But there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. Okay. Uh, tell me what you can. Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meat bag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Assassino. Caution, shh, Master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Okay. As you desire, Master. Signing off. So unfortunately, so, yeah. Pockets is too stupid to well, repair HK. Fortunately, at some point in the game, when somebody 
happens to show up, perhaps HK will turn on. Some of them. Some of his functions will turn on. I get the feeling. Hey, Kalo. Oh, yeah. Round two? I'm down. Look at your fuckboys. Look at your fuckboy crew. Quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Kalo fuck boy crew. I see you brought some backup, Kalo. Oh, Realized I'm glad you got Candorous for this. To handle on your own. <laughs> you got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way you, this you, time. You, you fucking, you teamed up with a bunch of assholes. What, what? Really? You traveled a long way just to die, Kalo. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Look at these fucks. All right, you get, you get the full setup here. Oh, yeah. Including this. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just to deal with the fuckboy crew. I also, um, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I thought the star map was gonna give me some talky talks. Hell no. It gave you points on a map. Ooh. Alright. The I second know. star map will give you. And that, that's all talk. I can do for setup until I get. Oh yeah. no, wait, I can do you, this. You can fucking heal yourself. Fucking heal yourself, man. Mm. Fine. Um, normal med pack is fine for that. Yeah, because you can use them all in a row. And then save over that file, so that, just in case this yeah, goes bad. Yeah. Which, I, I have a... Oh, I love that fucking pose, it's good, I like that. I Let's doubt it, cause... <laughs> fuckboy crew. Yeah? It's like the two live crew. Is it? Except they're two dead. Are they? There we go. Uh, let's see, do I even want to focus on... Nope, I've only got one in sight right now. Alright. Uh, unless... Unless... Hmm. You got a plasma grenade. That's your biggest pop. Plasma's the big one, huh? That's the big pop. Oh my god. What is happening? This is the best. I don't know what's happening, but it's the best. Why? That's hilarious. Are you serious? That's really funny. Alright, let's try one of these. It really doesn't want you to throw a fucking grenade. Pockets, are you alright? What is video? You just lost night speed. That took so long. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Pop the fuck, boys. All right, that's one fuck boy down. One and a half fuck boys down. That's two. Still shielded. Still doing good. Yeah, those blaster deflection things are fucking amazing. They are. Yeah, uh, wait for it to pop. There we go. Uh-huh. Then you can flurry that fucking shit to death. Defense down, though. Don't want to do too many of them. I'll do one more and then... We should really check that, that, uh, thing again, the, the... Can you check the, the actual text on that again? Sure. On Master Flurry, because it's possible that over time we lost the defense down thing. It'd be under... Uh, powers? Fuck. Yeah, and then hit X again. It'll be feats. And Master Flurry down there. Does the character suffer... What? Minus one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's not that bad. Yeah, you gotta buy a shit ton more advanced med packs. I do, I do, I do. Cause you, you've been blowing through them like crazy. I am. Oh man, Kalo's so fucking fucked, dude. He's, he's a toughie. Uh, don't even buy. Like, no. you're gonna kill him in yeah, like, yeah, a second. This, this is the dumbest fight ever. I can't believe he thought his backup would... That's, that's sad. 2,000 credits. That's a lot of credits. Mando Heavy Pistol yeah. and Kalo Nord's Battle Armor. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey, Kando. You want some dank shit? No, I didn't want to talk to you, HK. As you desire. I actually wanted just those remains of the fuckboys. It's like we accidentally looked at you. I'm sorry. I- oh. And thank you for bringing the speeders, though. Yeah, very kind. The fucking the the screen is beaming like there's like a fucking <laughs> red the, 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 the room itself is just yeah. glowing. 
All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you got? Okay, we got all the heavy blaster shit. We got all the blaster ones we like. We got the blaster proficiency. Give them fucking toughness three. Fuck it. Make him basically invincible. And let's see what armor we can equip on him. Okay, we got Davix Warsuit. That's eight plus three. And cold and fire resistance. That's nine plus one. Fucking dope. Let's see what it looks like. No, that's the best thing for him, for sure. But hold on. What about... The possibility of... Well, no, because he's not good with pistols. He's He's got all his specs for uh, heavy I weapons. The start makes me confirm. <laughs> I really do. Where the fuck is his big old gun? There it is. Oh, he looks great. Yeah, he's looking shiny. Nice. Very nice. That's good. I like that. Okay, what about uh, HK? No, no, no. Can you benefit from the rifle? No, he, no he's a pistol. It's a pistol. He's a rifle guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. You find a good ass rifle, we give it that that shit to HK. All right, good job. Back to the sand folk. Can't even steal these speeders. No. Damn. You can piss on them though, in your in your mind, in your fanfic mind. This is, what a waste. All that perfectly good piss. Yeah, you guys at home know what I'm talking about. Boy. Oh, can I just, uh, take the opportunity to... Hell yeah, you... Do. Oh, no. Because this is... Mission, mission. This has been modified into a combat area because of that boss fight. Fine. Yeah, that's dumb. So, I was robbed of the opportunity to fight a dragon, so they, they, they brought in some scrubs. Yeah, because you're building up to a boss fight, and you get all your shit set up, you're like... Oh. Yeah. Oh shit, boss fight anyway! Feeling all right. There we go. It's those big fucking the fuck things. Big rocks. The fucking rocks made spiky, out of sand with the with spiky. the nipples. I'm shocked you don't want a purple lightsaber. That was that was jest. Oh, you don't. Oh, you do want that, a purple that lightsaber. Was, that was infinite jest, Pat. Oh, because green and green and purple. That's that's a good combo. That's villainous colors. Compliment? Well, I mean, depends. That's... I can think of one kind of a hero, not really, that had green and purple. Unit one? That'd be the one. That's why I said kind of, not really. Yeah, them's good colors, yeah. I'm sure there's others out there. And I know there are. Like the Joker. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Which is what, like... Well, Matt would, would make fun of me whenever I was wearing green and purple. I'd be like, that's cool. He knows how to dress. Them colors work. They're good. As long as you're dealing with complementary colors on the opposite sides of the color wheel. What about, uh, what about fucking yellow and purple? You, you see, yellow is fine, but you want to lead, you want to go a little bit more, um... Because green and purple mean that you want to you want to think of a color wheel. Yeah. Right. So if you lean towards yellow, then you gotta leave purple a bit and head into the blue. You see? No. The more you go I, one way, I I fail. The distance from green. Here, it's simple. The distance from yellow to green, you have to travel that distance from purple to blue. So I'll I'll will save you some trouble. I failed this the instant you said imagine a color wheel. <laughs> Okay, well... Because I don't know what a fucking color wheel looks like accurately. Pull the phone up. Accurately. Take a look. Take a look. Nah, I don't care. Okay. That's that's what's happening. The easy part, if you want to make things look good, is you pick one color on one side, and then you make a straight line to the other side. And those two colors together look great. It's how you match. It's how you dress. Furry, what do you wish to ask of him, Master? I wish I should have saved it. I did. I'll ask about the captives. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. Yeah, what about the Jawas? What about the Jawas? Translation. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love that shit. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. What did they do? You take them if you wish. What did they do with them? Like, oh, yeah, okay. Okay. 
Uh, we, we th okay, we can just have them. Great. Back to my other questions. We should not keep him long. Don't do it. insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. I remember. Uh... Info? Yeah, fine. Info. Now? This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending you. I remember. Not that that is much of a worry. Tell me the history of your fucking clan, dog. Well, he told me. Remember, I was about yeah, to. Yeah, he'll bring in the fucking guy, That's probably. Right. We're huge warriors now. You have been told that to be considered worthy of hearing the histories. Yes, right. We are aware, yes. Yes, you have to go back to this path. Dragon. Translation. He says that it. Yes, here, here it is. is. Dragon Pearl. Drop! Fucker. It's like this is the biggest, dankest pearl ever. He is stupefied, Master. He never thought you could return with such an item. Such a thing has not been done in many years. Yeah. Translation. The controller is literally lit up. That's funny. It's not running out of batteries. It's not flashing. All right, hit A. Let's see what happened. Hold on. He'll... Just in case this skips. You'll allow you to meet the storyteller, but also gives a warning. If you dare, dare repeat, repeat the history incorrectly, incorrectly, you will be killed. So fucking pay attention. Okay. He will allow oh, oh to fuck. Meet the I was gonna get up and take a piss. No piss for you. No, too late. To I pulled the battery out and that worked. You will be killed. That was so weird. Alright, at least I don't have to use the... Um... I don't have to use the fucking elites. I don't know if any of you guys out there bought an Elite uh, Xbox controller, but I'll tell you what, they feel really, really nice outside of the plastic the first time you open the box, and then they just turn into a swampy, dank, gooey mess, and it's really unfortunate, because they feel great otherwise. But that rubbery texture doesn't do well over time. You wait a month, and then you get, like, it just gets sticky, you know, and it sucks. And otherwise, like, it feels like a really expensive... Uh, 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 steering wheel otherwise. Um... Alright, so... The storyteller's in one of the rooms, and this will be a great honor. Sure. Farewell for now. Translation. Translation. We are free we are. to leave. Great! There goes the pearl. I have, probably have, have you seen the fucking cereal Matt's hiding in the fucking kitchen? Uh... What's he... Is he, is he hiding it? Yeah? Because I know that he's been, um, like, he's not, he's not trying to do, well, they. <laughs> well, not hiding, I mean, he's sitting out on the fucking counter, so but. Fr so from what I understand, uh, uh, Matt's not doing full keto, and, and neither is, uh, Crime Tina. <laughs> However, they are, because they diet together, mm -hmm. are doing. Well, that's easy. Um. A, you're allowed one sugary carby. No, it has, per has week. nothing to do with the contents of the cereal. Okay. Have you seen the title of the fucking cereal? What's the title of the cereal? It made me do a fucking double take. It's called Nutter Butter. Nutter Butter. That doesn't sound great. Well, I mean, I'm everybody's a, got different tastes. I'm. Are you aware of the usage of that term? I'm somewhat familiar. Okay. Because Although the butter consistency I would find worrying. That is a term that my cousins, and yeah, as far I as I'm bet. aware... Yeah, I fucking bet. That's some hood speak, a little bit. You want some butter? No, I'm good, man. So he's pretty chill, the storyteller guy. Maybe that's where the slang came from. Himself as the storyteller, Master. He has been told of your warrior skills and will speak the history to you. Do I have to learn a haka? Because I will. I really want to. What good will these histories be? Made? They didn't write it down. I am honored. Ask him what he records. So, by the way, That's once like you learn all this shit, feel free to do whatever you want with these people. Sure. All right. Explain this mysterious race. There is only one accepted history. Passed orally to each successive generation. With no explanation from this trilogy. A data pad can be taken away, cheapening the value of what it contains. To commit it to paper or storage is to remove it from the people. That's what we thought until we had written history. Shh. 
Off oral histories are fucked up. What topics can I choose from? Translation. There is only the one topic! Like, you people live in the desert. I'm not gonna try and convince you that you're doing, you know, the dumb version of things. There's the one. The only exception is in continuing the tales once they have begun. If you leave, when you return, he will continue from where he Oh, I thought he said you'd be killed. No, no, no. Okay. Begin the history. This is a start the fight button. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Wow. Let's I'm, do it. I'm crackling up over here. Translation. Bark, bark. Translation. It begins with the ancient times. Right. They were not sand people, for there was no sand. The land was green with life, and they walked without wrappings. Uh-huh. Translation. Though the land was beautiful, they lived apart from the land. They built their walls high and saw beyond the horizon. They dared to reach the stars. Translation. There are no words for how long ago this was. It was before the outsiders, before the abduction, before the cities fell, before the builders. So the builders are the people that mm -hmm. built those fucking star maps. Mm -hmm. And it also means that the sand people have are been a, around that fucking It long. also means they're a post-technological race. Absolutely, and they're adhering to the land because of the, the fall. Translation. His arrogant people touched the stars, and, this and their wings melted. The attention of the builders. The builders did not touch the stars. They lashed them to millstones. Translation: Great demons of metal stripped the world of its riches until all that was left was the green of the ground. The great cities were lifted away. Translation, those that had used the wealth were taken along with it. Transgressors abducted to serve past the sky, seeding the stars with penitent, adaptable slaves. Translation. Translation, there came a time when the builders were also judged for their crimes. After generations, a plague weakened them, and the time of the Great War began. Translation, the builders faltered, and his people realized why they had been punished, so that they understood the crime, and would now strike down the greater offender. Translation, they worked chaos in the machines, so they destroyed themselves. The builders fought back, laying waste to the green, that had been misused with fire from above. Translation, soil became glass, grinding to sand, but the fight was long planned, and his people were safe. Deep in cave homes carved from valley wall, they were free. Translation. If I may, Master, this section of his tale details several millennia of the Long Walk, their nomadic wanderings as they accept their identity in a desert world. Rather than strain my circuits on his dialect, might we just assume there was much fighting over who has the biggest bantha and move on to more recent things? Resignation. Very well, Master. All oh, the fucking fade out. Translation. The tribe spread far, distant from each other, but all the sand people and all cherished the land that remained. The sand would not be misused. Translation. Then machines fell from the stars again. Outsiders like you that brazenly walked apart from the land. And greater still was the insult to come. Translation, these outsiders reminded them of their past transgression, of the time when they too walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, looked like their ancient abducted. Translation, 
so it is to the current sons, that the sand people hate all outsiders and give them no footing. You come again time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Editing. The last thousand years are full of conflicts with different groups of attempted planetary settlers, all of whom are poorly described, long dead, and likely untraceable. I believe I have truncated it down to the usable bits and what was already said. I hope it is enough, Master. Translation. <laughs> Translation. We are free to leave. The Sand People are the single most interesting part of the entire Star Wars canon. Yep. And that's why you do this quest for the light side, because... Th like, they- oh, they killed the Precursor race, and the reason why they are Sand People is because their planets got glassed as a result. They are single-handedly the most interesting race. That it's like fucking crazy. Oh man, that is no, fucking they crazy. They have the best reason ever to hate technology. It was the method Holy of their shit. like galactic enslavement. And now it's like worship the land, you fucks, or that's going to happen again. This and, shit, and this dirt and sand is all you have left and you're going to fucking love it because the the op, the the alternative is nothing. It's great. It's fucking great. <laughs> 